blessings to you, my brothers and sisters. I come to you with great peace. Ask the Lord to give you his peace that surpasses all understanding. Now it is not my peace to give, it's the Lord's peace. So you can grab a hold of it too. I didn't wake up this morning full of peace. My mind was bracing. I had all these things that I had to do. I had all these worst case scenarios that ran through my mind. The enemy was after me since morning. He was after me as soon as I woke up. He was after me even in my dreams. But I knew, I knew who was the enemy. So I had to wake up, I had to wake up and cherish and treasure the moment today, the, the life that God has given me. And immediately I turned to his word. I went back and looked at the words that he has spoken to me. See, I have journals that I keep and I write down my conversations with God because I never want to forget my conversations with God because they are so powerful and they're the truth and they encourage my heart and they are what I have to cling on to is God's word. And I go back and I, you know, these are the words. Some of them I have forgotten completely. And when I read it, when I read God's word for me, what he has told me, and some of them already has come to pass. So I was praising God, praising God of his faithfulness that these words have already came to pass. And there were others that haven't, but I know since he, he told me these other ones that have already came to pass, surely, surely these other ones will too. So I can trust in him. I can trust in him. And I was just rejoicing and weeping and just seeking the Lord. Because there's nothing else in this world. There's nothing in this house. There's no one else that can help me but my Jesus. So I thank you, Jesus, for being available all the time for your people. I thank you, Lord, for being available for me when I need you. It is a battle. And it's every day. Going to church once a week. And actually, some of us haven't been going to church. Maybe you've just been, you know, watching online off here and there. Um, it's not enough. It's not enough. We have to start our day with the Lord. Or even if you have to end your nights with the Lord. Whatever it is, you know, whether you're a morning person or a night person, Take some time with the Lord because trials and tribulations do come and the enemy do attack us. He he is he has known us. He has studied us. So he knows all the buttons and all the triggers and he will push it, especially when we're not alert. So I encourage you, encourage you to stay Stay close with God and seek Him and walk closely with Him. I come with you, with God's peace right now for you. God's peace. I'm overwhelmed by His peace and love right now. Not because I don't have troubles in my life. Not because I'm not broken. Not because my life is perfect. None of that is true. Not because I, I'm so great. None of that is true. It's because I clinged on to the Lord. I would not let him go. I would not let him go. Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that your people will come to you. Come to you every day. Because we need you, Lord. We need you every day. Not once a week. It's a relationship. We praise you. We worship you every day, God. We, it is not a relationship. If you're not talking to the Lord, it's not a relationship if you're not listening to the Lord. If it's not a relationship if you're not spending any time with the Lord. And especially if you continuously rely, rely on somebody else to feed you the word. There is nothing wrong with that. Of course, we strengthen each other by sharing, sharing his word and encouraging each other in his word.
but there are times that we have to set aside our time alone with the Lord continuously our time alone with the Lord and that's how you will be strengthened that's how you will be equipped for the battle that you're in for the storm that you're in and what's coming your way because we are in this world and we are so loved by God we're created by his image so the enemy hates us we have an enemy out there so stay alert Cling on to the Lord and His promises for you. His changes, His plan never change. Just because this world has been rocked, just because of so many things that have happened, God's plan for you has never changed. Whatever He has said, whatever He has called you to do, even before all of this pandemic hit, he knew about this pandemic. He knew about all these things that would happen. And he still called you. And that has never changed. So hold on to his word. Hold on to his promises. He is God. He does not need a lie. He doesn't lie. He will prove himself faithful like he has done so many times before remember his faithfulness for all those other times so that it will strengthen you in this storm that you're in thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord for your peace I thank you Lord for your love for us I thank you Lord that regardless of the storm that we're in regardless of the battle we're in whenever we seek you we will find you Whenever we seek you, we will find you. And when we find you, we will know the truth and be in your presence and that your peace and joy overwhelms us. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for your mighty love for us. May the peace of God be with you. May his truth continuously be known to you. May he reveal himself to you fully when you seek him. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. <laughs>